Table of Specification TOS, it is our test blueprint. It helps teachers align learning objectives, teaching, and assessment. It also ensures balance between test items in easy and difficult, lower order thinking skills, and higher order thinking skills. What are the parts of a table of specification? We have here column 1, the learning competencies. Column 2, number of days or the else is taught. You need to refer to CG or BAU. Column 3, percent of items. Column 2 divided by total number of days in a quarter times 100. And column 4, number of items per LC, percent of items times total items. So here is the example of table of specification. So you need to write here the learning area, the grade level, and the quarter. So teachers, ito yung learning competency natin. Number of days. Percent of items, number of items. We have here the cognitive domain, remembering, understanding, analyzing, applying, evaluating, creating, and item placement. Okay, I'll show you how to do this table of specification. This is the example of 15 item test. Remember, kapag Written output ay lahat ay recorded, dapat ay meron tayong table of specification. So, we have here the learning competency. So, this table of specification para sa edukasyon sa pagpapakatao, baitang 7, quarter 3. So, I have here the learning competencies. Nakikilala ang pagkakaiba at pagkakaugnay ng virtud at pagpapahalaga. At natutukoy ang iba't ibang antas ng pagkapahalaga ang mga halimbawa ng mga ito. Number of days. So, nag-base ako sa BAW. Itong MELK na to o learning competency na to ay 2 days. At yung sumunod din ay 2 days. So, total number of days ay 4. So, percentage. So, paano ko ba nakuha tong percentage? So, ito yung number of days divided by Total number of days times 100. So, I got here 50 para sa unang competency at 50% para sa pangalawang competency for the total of 100%. Now, let's proceed to the number of items. Paano ko nakuha tong 7 and 8 na number of items? So, 50% times the total number of items. So, kung total number of items mo ay 15 or 50 or 25, doon mo siya multiply. And then, after multiplying, pwede mo siyang uh, i-divide the 100% or pwede yun na rin mismo ang magiging sagot mo. Katulad sa unang competency, the total number of items is 7. Sa pangalawang competency naman ay 8. So, for the total of 15 items. So, we have here the cognitive domain. As you can see here, meron under ng remember, ng 10%, understand, 20%, apply, 30%, analyze, 15%, evaluate, 15%, and create, 10%. So, here, under the cognitive domain, ang remember natin ay 10%. Always remember na ang easy part ay meron 60%, kaya ito ay under na remember, understand, and apply. So, remember is 10%, understand 20, and apply is 30 for the total of 60%. Okay, next is the, diff, the average. The average is should have 30%. Okay, so analyze 15%. And evaluate is 15% for the total of 30%. And for the difficult uh, part is create, that is 10%. Okay. So, for the total of 100%, yung ating cognitive domain. So, ngayon teachers, hindi natin basa-basa siya ilalagay ang mga number of items 
or yung number kasi kailangan natin sundin ang tamang computation. Remembering is 10%. So, what is the 10% of 15? So, that is 2. Kaya naglagay ako siya ng 2. So, under remember, dapat, or remembering, mayroon dalawang items. Understand, 20% ng 15 items. So, that is 3. Apply, the 30% of 15, that is 5. Analyze, 15% of 15, that is 2. Evaluate, 15% ng 15 ay 2. The same thing with evaluate. 15% of 15 is 2. And create 10% of 15 is 2. For the total of 15 points. So, ngayon, napag nakuha na natin yung mga cognitive domain, ng bawat percentage nila, pwede na tayo magkaroon dyan ng item placement. Halimbawa, diba, to yan, ilagay natin dito yung isa sa unang competency, pangalawa sa pangalawang competency. So, nakato na tayo. Understand the same thing? 2 and 1, so 3. Kayo na po bahala maglagay kung sa inyo mas uh, applicable yung inyong mga question o yung inyong test item. So, 2 and 3. So, that's 5. Analyze 2. So, doon lang ako sa first competency. Sa second competency, hindi ako naglagay. So, 2 din yan. Evaluate 1 and 1, 2. And under create, yung unang competency, hindi ako naglagay. Sa so, sumunod na competency, 2, that is 2. For the total of 15. Now, how about the item placement? So, remember the number of items is 7. So, Para hindi na kayo mahirapan, pagsunod-sunod din yun na. Pero it doesn't necessary na remember ang uh, number 1, understand ang uh, number 2 and 3. So, dapat within that numbers 1 to 7 ay nandiyan lahat yung cognitive domain. Okay, so example, the item placement, test 1 is numbers 1 to 7 and test 2, numbers 8 to 15. Bakit dito 8? Dahil ang number of items natin ay eight okay so i hope you learned something from me today thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to aking youtube channel bye everyone